Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be looking at this tiny little terror master again well it's 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 making terror here in uh, in my little home the magic about my youtube channel is that i read all of your comments so um last week we um, we looked at this ram block here i tried to upgrade this little terror master f8 ssd all flash nash yeah it's an all flash nash uh, from 16 to 32 gigabytes of memory and I failed and I read all the comments including the people that said that I should send this back because I was wasting the patrons money so yeah I did read that too but someone in the comments said that the bias might take a little bit to change from one RAM block to the next RAM block and could it be a bit slower at booting up and I thought, well, how long did I wait? And I thought, okay, maybe I didn't wait very long. I, um, the, the box boots up really quickly when it works. So I thought, well, I'll try that. And actually I tried it and it bloody works. So the box can do 32 gigabytes of memory. You just have to wait a little bit longer and to correct the dutchy video that I did last week where I failed at this I think I might gonna do it again so we're gonna be putting in 32 gigabytes of memory and I also have another thing because in the video I suggested that I could put in a solid state drive like this there is a little USB stick in there for um, so that you can boot well it actually um, it came with this thing where it boots its uh, TOS the the Terra Master operating system. I took that out to um, I was having difficulties installing Proxmox and I took that out and I took out One of the NVMe drives as well. So um, when I did that I was able to boot it So I thought I can put this in and I can boot the, the Terra Master F8 from this solution and I mentioned that in last week's video and in the comments someone told me that this solution was available as a kind of like a USB stick like uh, all of this in like a USB stick uh, looks like this so the difference between this and this is um, of the speed and how many times you can read right to it so this doesn't get worn out as quickly as this does and naturally when I read that I looked into it and I wasted a little bit more of the Patreon money. So we got one of those. It's not it's not as big. I haven't I haven't had it open yet, so um, whoops, there it is. So this is an A Data SC610 external SSD. And it has USB 2 uh, sorry, it has USB 3.2 generation 2. It's 500 gigabytes and it should be the same thing-ish as this thing just in a, um, well every, all of this is just worked together into a smaller package. So, um, and this is brilliant because this might just exactly be what we need for our ESXi 6.77 and 8 where um, the the USB keys gets uh, worn out in no time. So instead we could put in a uh, an SSD. And it does say SSD right there. So um, yeah, I hope it fits in there. I think that might be the, that might be a problem. It's way too big. Uh, oh no, I messed up again. Ah. Uh. Morden, it's not gonna fit. Oh dear. That thing is way too big. Why didn't I think of that? It's 
So I would need a little cable for it to sit in there. Oh, stupid. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Back to the drawing board on this one. It could sit it could sit here. Oh, don't do that. And just have a cable that goes into there. Uh, the smallest little USB extension cable would do the trick. Uh, this is definitely a solution for another day. So now you know that this exists because I didn't know that this exists. I was uh, very used to these normal USB keys. I had never heard about a USB SSD before. So um, yeah, but we're gonna do the we're gonna do the RAM trick, and just um, just uh, for fun and giggles, we're gonna put this back together and we're gonna see it boot up with the 16 gigabyte in there, and we'll see how fast it is because it's very fast. Uh, so when it when nothing has changed, it really quickly boots up. There it beeps, and then there, there's Proxmox, and in seconds Proxmox will, and it's, come on. This, this thing is in the way. Proxmox is booted, so yeah, that's how it usually goes. So when I was putting in the RAM last week and it didn't do that, I thought, no, nah, that's not gonna work. And clearly, I didn't wait long enough. So by reading the comments, I got way smarter. And uh, yeah. And I do believe that I have said this multiple times. Do read the comments of my videos because there are some really smart people down there. And they are way smarter than me. There's always someone that is way smarter than me and that it, whatever I'm talking about, that's the case. Uh, there. And I have learned to live with it because, yeah, with so many people watching, I am not the smartest one down there. So um, we put in this crucial RAM and it's a 32 gigabyte DDR5, 4800 megahertz, uh, 1.1 volt CL40 RAM. And I'll pop that in really good. Put the RAM out of the way and we'll connect everything back up. And power there. And now we'll see, I'll power it on. And nothing will happen for quite a while. And that was why I failed last week. So by now, normally it would have beeped and it would have shown something on the screen and this was about as long as I waited so uh, this is not gonna work, that's crap uh, but apparently I should have just waited a little bit longer hmm they have, they have left the, the manual for this SSD on the inside of the box. See, that's a long time to wait. I'm curious. 
this looks inside. Warranty statement. There it goes. And then it boots. So, um, yeah, that was why I failed. It just took too long. And I got impatient. And now it boots Proxmox just fine. There we are. Proxmox has been booted. And. Um, I do believe if I reboot it now, it will be just as quick as the other one. But the first time you replace the RAM, it takes forever and ever. And uh, I didn't know that, so I thought this is not working. I am extremely happy with this. This 32 gigabytes of memory in this Proxmox is, is more than doubling the use case of this because now I can have more servers because you're very limited if you have a very small amount of RAM. When you get a bit more RAM, you can put more servers in there because not all the servers will be using RAM at the same time. And if another server needs RAM, well, it can steal some from the other servers that are not using it. And with more RAM to steal from, well, it, it the, the curve goes more like, uh, I think, I guess it's, it, it doesn't just go straight, it, it goes upwards like that. And um, a Proxmox server with 32 gigabytes of memory instead of 16 gigabytes of memory is like probably like 150% better than one with 16 gigabytes because of the, the more options you get with the more memory. So uh, awesome. Um, this was a kind of a uh, disaster. I, uh, I didn't think. Uh, I should have seen that coming. But now I will be very eager to read the comments and see um, who suggests me something good. Um, I could take this apart and, and make my own little, but uh, yeah, 500 megabytes per second. Start, yeah, 550 megabytes per second it should be able to do. Um, I might ruin the transfer speed if I start soldering stuff on there by myself, but yeah. Uh, probably this case don't need to be this big but I don't think it's all plastic so uh, it wasn't that expensive this was like $50 but still I would have liked this to work as well so do leave in the comments below how I should fix this so that, that it fits in there and um, thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye